Back in 2004, aspiring pro skier and friend of mine, Josh Duick, broke his back when a flip on skis went tragically wrong. He ended up a T11 full paraplegic, which pretty much means that he had no feeling in his body from about this point down. Last year, we worked on a documentary film together called The Freedom Chair. And during filming, Josh just blew me away with what he was able to do on a sit ski. And while we were out filming, the whole time, Josh kept talking about wanting to go upside down on snow again. So here we are in Whistler, and we're going to try and make it happen. Obviously, safety is a top priority for me doing this backflip. The last thing that I want to do is put myself in a worse situation than I'm already in. It all started a few months back at Woodward's at Copper. Just started jumping around in the foam pit and that's when I realized that backflip was possible. And then from there the natural progression was to bring it onto the airbag at Blackcomb in their terrain park. And then it was on. I knew that deep soft snow was going to leave me the biggest margin for error. Powder Mountain Snowcats decided to build me this big old backcountry booter. And then when the weather was right, obviously I knew it was time to send it. This is something I've been dreaming about ever since I was laid out in the hospital. I've wanted to get back on the horse ever since I got knocked off. And to be able to go back out there and do this flip with all my friends, it just simply does not get any better than that. On the next episode of Solomon Free Ski TV, we go heli skiing in Kashmir, India. It's been unavoidable having some sort of conflict with the military here. Um, on one reconnaissance flight, we flew right over the line of control. By the time we landed, we had an armed soldier here escorting us back to the military base. <laughs>